So now let's take a, a look at some examples of how do we get a full cell reaction if we know the two uh, half cell reaction. For a given pair of reduction or cathodic half cell rea reaction and uh, another oxidation, also called anodic half cell reaction. How do we write the OR or so called full cell reaction? Now let's take a look at some examples. Remember, when you do this, you have to keep in mind to keep the so called mass and the charge balance. The weight or mass has to be balanced for each of the half cell reaction as well as the OR full cell reaction. Similar for charge, the positive and the net charge has to be balanced for both the half cell reaction, whether it's cathodic reduction or anodic oxidation, half cell reaction, or for the full cell reaction, the charge also has to be balanced. Another principle when we go from half cell reaction to construct or get the full cell reaction, we want to eliminate electrons because both the half cell reactions, the cathodic or the anodic, contain electrons. But when you go from half cell reactions to full cell reaction, we want to eliminate electrons. So these are the two nodes or principles uh, when you start to write these types of reactions. So now let's take a look at the first example. The anodic or so-called oxidation half cell reaction would be for ion atom to give out two electrons to become um, ion ion Fe2+. On the other hand, the cathodic or the reduction half cell reaction would be for the proton or hydrogen plus ion to combine with electrons to form hydrogen gas. Now let's check the mass and charge balance for each of these uh, half cell reactions. For the anodic or oxidation half cell reaction, that's one ion on the left one ion on the right, so the mass is balanced. For charge, it's zero charge on the left, and it's two plus plus two minus, also zero net charge on the right, so the charge is also balanced for the anodic half cell reaction. For the cathodic or reduction half cell reaction, the mass is two hydrogen on the left, also two hydrogen on the right. It's balanced in mass or weight. What about charge? Two proton, two plus, and another two electrons. So the net charge on the left is also zero, while the net charge on the right is also zero. So the charge is also balanced for this cathodic or reduction half cell reaction. So then to get the so-called full cell reaction with the goal of elimination of electron, how do we do it? Well, two electron here, two electron here. So as you can see, you just directly add the anodic reaction and the cathodic reaction together. The left plus left, right plus right. And of course, the two electrons on each side are cancelled out. And this is what we got. Ion atom plus two proton to form ion 2 plus and a hydrogen gas H2 and the mass is balanced one ion on the left one ion on the right two hydrogen on the left two hydrogen on the right what about charge on the left two plus on the right two plus so the mass and charge is also balanced for this so-called overall a full cell reaction and 
as we checked, there is no electrons on either side of this reaction. So we got it. Let's look at another example. In this case, the anodic or oxidation half cell reaction is from indium iron to lose three electrons and become indium iron three plus. So the mass is balanced, the charge is also balanced for the anodic or oxidation half cell reaction. For the cathodic or reduction half cell reaction, two hydrogen on the left, two hydrogen on the right. Zero charge on the left, zero charge on the right. So the cathodic or reduction half cell reaction also satisfy mass and charge balance. So now, how do we get the full cell reaction or the overall reaction? Remember, our goal is to keep charge and mass balance while eliminating electrons. So in this case, we have three electrons here and the two electrons here. If we add them up directly, we cannot eliminate electrons. So we have to multiply the half cell reactions by certain factors. Because of this three to two, and I'm going to do this, two anodic plus three cathodic, two anodic plus three cathodic, which means for the anodic reaction, you are going to multiply the factor of two on both sides. Well, for the cathodic reaction, you are going to multiply both sides by the factor of three. And then, this is what we end up getting. Two anodic indium become two indium on the right side, Indian 3 plus become 2 Indian 3 plus. Well, the electron become 6 electron. For hydrogen, we said 3 cathodic. So 2 hydrogen become 6 hydrogen proton. 2 hydrogen gas become 3 hydrogen gas on the right. And this 2 electron become 6 electron. But this electron and that this electron with the factors are cancelled out. And this is what we got. Okay? So now let's look at another example. This case, the anodic or the oxidation half cell reaction is for the iron atom to lose three electrons and form iron three plus. The mass is balanced, one ion on the left, one ion on the right. The charge is balanced, zero on the left, three plus and three minus net is zero on the right. For the cathodic or the reduction half cell reaction, we have two times two, four hydrogen on the left side, four hydrogen on the right side, two plus two, four oxygen on the left side, four oxygen on the right side, four electron, which is four minus on the left side. On the right is also four minus. So you see for this cathodic or reduction half cell reaction, the mass is balanced. The charge is also balanced. So now based on this pair of anodic and cathodic, oxidation and reduction half cell reaction. How do we get the so-called full cell or overall reaction? Of course, we still have to add anodic and the cathodic, left plus left, right plus right. But remember, we want to eliminate electrons and we cannot add these just by one to one ratio. In order to cancel out, as you can see, we have to multiply for the anodic a factor of four on each side, while for the cathodic a factor of three on each side. And then, as you see, this is what we get. Anodic multiply by factor four, four iron, four iron on the left, Ion 3 plus become 4 ion 3 plus. 
Well, for the cathodic part, two water times five plus three becomes six water. Oxygen gas times five plus three becomes three oxygen gas. And then for the hydroxy group, it's four times this factor three become 12 and this four times three give us 12. And of course the electrons, once the factor are multiplied, they will be canceled. And this is our overall reaction, okay? So let's check this overall or full cell reaction. Four iron on the left, four iron on the right. Six plus another six oxygen, so totally 12 oxygen. Four times three times one, 12 oxygen on the right. Six times two, 12 hydrogen. Four times three times one, 12 hydrogen on the right. So the mass is balanced. What about charge? Zero net charge on the left, zero net charge on the right. So you see, now, even for this reaction, we get from anodic and cathodic by combining them together with a proper um, factors, multiplication factors to eliminate electrons, and then we are going to get it.